You got everything you need? Mm -hmm. All right, well, it is bedtime. And yes, Boston and I have strep throat, which we are getting on it ridiculously soon. Like we're not like super, super sick, but we have the exact same symptoms on a very low key scale. So we started our antibiotics tonight, so hopefully we can get better soon. And we have something so special for Boston. For weeks he's like, how come your pillow feels different than my pillow? Because mine are really expensive and his are super cheap. And we had an extra pillow. Oh, do you guys remember when Joel cut the pillow in half in Mexico? <laughs> we'll link that video in the description. Um, we were doing a service trip and I didn't think I was gonna need a pillow because I was so tough. Anyway, Joel brought his favorite pillow and cut it in half for me. Oh. Anyway, so we had one extra of that set. We came home, bought us a new set, gave Cody one of our really nice pillows, and he's like, my pillow is hot. It makes me sweaty. I flip it over and it makes me sweaty. I flip it over and it makes me sweaty, huh? Mm -hmm. So he wanted a new pillow, so. And it, will, and it will never ever get warm. <laughs> I mean, it might, but it's, it's just a nicer pillow. What brand is this? Jill, do you know what brand these are? Did we already cut off the brand? Let me see. My heavens, I don't know what brand it is, you guys. We're going to put Boston's pillowcase over, and he requested that he slept on my floor tonight, which I like when the kids are sick and they sleep in my room. I just feel like I can, like, what, protect them or something? I don't know. At least keep my eye on them. We'll put the cooling side up. There's these, like, little bumps. What do you think of that? Yep, and then when I come in here to go to sleep, I'm gonna put you right here on the floor. Okay, mm -hmm. and you got your pillow or your blankie. Oh my gosh, and Barry. My grandma um, gave it to me. If you go um, on YouTube, you'll and type up um, my birthday. You'll see a Thor one, and then you'll see. Was it for your birthday? I think it was for Christmas. Birthday. It was for your birthday. Oh my goodness. You would know, wouldn't you? And I remember when he got it, I was like, my mom got him a teddy bear. He's five years old. Why would he want a teddy bear? And he loves that teddy bear, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I call him Barry. Yep, he's your Barry. Because mm -hmm. he loves berries. Do you love berries? <laughs> what a coinkadink. I never say coinkadink. What a coincidence. <laughs> We're gonna close the blinds. We're gonna turn on one little light in here. Why don't you put your pillow up on dad's spot and you can lay there. We'll turn the lights out. And he requested that he could fall asleep to watching one movie. He's been watching movies all day long, but if that's what he wants, that's what we'll do. Hop in. You'll probably be too hot to have this on you, so we'll just do this, because you still have a fever. If you watched yesterday's video, kind of, it was kind of interesting. The vlog like played out us being fine, and then we weren't fine, and then we were sick. <laughs> then, then I, I didn't get that much sleep. Yeah. Movie of choice. We are casting Indian. What? What was that look for? <laughs> you don't want to watch it? Mm -hmm. We're gonna watch Indian in the cupboard. Don't you think that sounds like a fun movie for you to watch tonight? I do too. Okay, we'll see everybody in the morning. Say goodnight to everybody. Good morning. <laughs> morning. What's so funny? <gasps> I'm going to school and I have a girl I like, so I'm gonna go for a charm. Olivia gave this to me to give to her because she didn't really want it anymore. On the first day of school, I loved you. Is that the same thing? Love you? Oh <gasps> Did you say love you in the note? Cody, are you saying that just to say that? No. Uh -huh. But I drew this little picture. It's like a little frame thing. Nothing on the back, but <laughs> holy cow, you can actually see the mark of that. I had to help him with this. I made this for my best friend, Thomas. Why is he scowling? Because he's Hulk. Oh, I get it.
get it. What, um, Boston, what are those? Muscles. Oh, like a six pack. Okay, freaked me out for a second, but I One, like it. Two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Lincoln, that's a terrible hiding spot. We're just doing a little uh, cleaning of underneath the glass for our table. I see streaks. Little uh, note to self, the best glass cleaning paper towel there is, Bounty Basic. Because there's only one ply and there's no glue holding the two plies together. Learn that, little tidbit. And the glass cleaner I use I think is pretty phenomenal. We'll link both of them in the description for Ooh, you. Ooh, deal. Mm -hmm. Did you strike my son? Here, put this in the garbage. <laughs> it's all bomb. You struck him. <laughs> we'll put that in the garbage, honey. Don't worry, Boston. I got it on camera for you. <laughs> Let me see your nose, Boston Wado. Let's see. Look, we need that for evidence. Oh, yep, it's definitely red. Boston. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's cold. I said, Joel, can I take your truck? And he's like, can you handle my truck? I was like, yeah, yeah. I actually have a slight confession to make. Yesterday, I threw a little bit of a fit. <laughs> I talked about it um, just a tiny bit in the vlog, but then like when I was done talking about it, I was like, oh, I see. Someone was complaining about this like smudge and here it is. <sighs> I think I got it. My hair is so dirty, but I'm getting a facial today. When I get facials, she goes like all up in my hairline. And I have stuff coming up this weekend, so I want it like fresh. So anyway, I'm gonna shower, brush my teeth, all the things when I get home. So just, <laughs> I've been wanting to make my Instagram look a little more uniform and a little more pretty because that's just kind of the direction that brands are wanting, that they're looking at. Like brands look at that versus the way mine looks, which is just like random. Some have filters, some don't have filters. Anyway, I've been trying and just because I want it to like look pretty because it's like my space and I don't know. But then I get so torn because I'm like, I grew because of who I was, not because who everyone else is being, you know what I mean? And I don't know. I'm so torn because I look at, you compare yourself. I compare myself a lot to like fashion bloggers and like lifestyle bloggers and that but that's like not me so why am I even comparing apples to oranges anyway it's this really weird like space that I'm in and I really wanted my space to be pretty in the bathroom with these pictures for Dove and I was kind of throwing a fit I'm like I don't even have a bathroom big enough to take a picture sitting prettily in front of a bathtub and Ellie's like, just use my bathroom. You can use my bathroom. Like anything, what's mine is yours. What's yours is mine, <laughs> you know? which is so sweet of her, but which I actually might do. I'm probably going to use her bathroom, but I made Joel feel bad. I was like, we did this bathroom and I hate redoing it, but why did I paint the walls brown? It's so ugly in here, blah, blah, blah. Like I really was throwing a fit and it was dumb. It was really, really dumb. And then I got feeling kind of bad that night and I told Joel, I said, I am unbelievably grateful for the things that we have and for our home. And it's funny because you get these mixed, you get such opposite comments from people. And I try my absolute hardest to not let comments like affect me or affect the way I do things, the way I talk, what I talk about. And, and it's funny because some people are like, I would give anything to have a home like yours. Like if I could just have a home like yours. And then there's other people that leave comments that are like, your house is so tiny. You've outgrown your home. There's no room for your kids, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I could live in a shack and be okay raising 10 kids. It's possible, people do it. I'm also in a space where I don't want to change from who I was. Like I don't want to live a lifestyle that's like different from what I have had because I truly am and was happy with what I had. And I hate when people are like, you've changed. I'm like, yeah, of course I've changed. Everyone's changed. It's been four years since I started vlogging. Like, of course I've changed. My heart has not changed. That's what I'm wanting to say. Like, my heart hasn't changed at all. My love for my family hasn't changed at all. My, my long-term goals 
of living an eternal life with my family that has not changed at all but we've just been so busy going and doing things and it's like I want my Bali business to be successful. Has it consumed me a little bit? Yeah. Do I want it to consume me? No. But like anything, you have to really put your heart and soul into it and your time. It's your time that you have to put into it. And then I, what my goal is, is to let it be self-sustaining. I want to hire people to design and I want to approve the designs. I want to hire someone to do all of my Instagram. But that takes time. Like, you don't just have the money all of a sudden to pay these people. You really have to put your time into it. Eventually, I want it to be a self-sustaining business and me just to approve everything. That's what I would really love it to be. Is that going to happen while my kids are still young? <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Um, something else that has not changed is that my kids come first. If the vlog sucks because I don't want to film them, the vlog is going to suck. And sometimes they do. And I think that's why people think you've changed. Because I don't vlog the way I used to. Because it used to be just me and the kids. And now with like us at home, sometimes I'm like, Joel, get out of here. <laughs> like I need my space. I need my time with my kids. Um, which is like not fair to him because he's like, what am I <laughs> Anyway, um, I don't even have a point. I don't have a point. I don't have like a resolution. I'm just like telling you how I've been feeling lately. And I don't know. I think you go like life is always up and downs and I don't feel like I'm in a down, but I feel like my content to you is not as like wholesome. And that does make me feel a little bad because just because I am like busy doing things. You're still along for the ride. I still bring you everywhere I go. <laughs> but it is just, it is different. And maybe the comments hurt when they say like you've changed because I know I have a little bit. I think my content has changed. I don't think really I have, my content has. Um, oh, so I will end on this. I was going back and I was watching Boston's um, surgery vlogs. <laughs> And I don't remember if I said this in the other video. If I did, I'm going to say it again. I was watching myself take care of Boston. And I remember, I didn't even think to get him anything. When I had surgery when I was young, my mom bought me a real... Uh, she gave me a bell that was hers when she had her jaw surgery. And her sister hit her in the face with a bat and broke her jaw. She has like a scar from it. I should make her, I should tell her to do a story time on her channel. <laughs> this is nine minute clip. <laughs> Sorry, Joel, you're gonna have to like cut through it. Anyway, and then my aunt Merlene, she gave me a porcelain doll. Or did my mom give me a porcelain doll? Either my mom or my Aunt Merlene got me a porcelain doll. I think my Aunt Merlene and Uncle David just came and visited me when I was in there, which is so sweet. Like, that just is so sweet. But when I was 9 or 11. But I didn't think to buy Boston anything. We just went in, we had our surgery, and you guys flooded our P.O. box with packages. And, and that's what got us through Boston surgery. And I just thought, that's what I loved. That's what I miss about... And not miss because it's still there. You guys send the sweetest notes to our P.O. box. And, and that's why I keep vlogging is for people that like really care about us. Um, and that are just here to just observe, not to like judge us. Um, and it's okay if people judge, that is okay. Um, uh, if they're rude, I block and delete. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know why I'm even rambling right now. I just truly felt like I wanted just to look you in the eye and like talk to you and just like tell you just a few things that's going through my mind. What I'm taking away from the bathroom situation is I'm grateful for my bathroom. I'm grateful for the work that Joel put in to making it look nice and and I'm going to be grateful for what I have and I'm not going to want for more. I'm going to be saving for more. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm just going to enjoy what I have. And I think that's what life should be. I think you should be really happy with what you have. And I think you should always strive and save and work towards better. I really do love you guys. Um, I truly love you guys. And I know that what I get to do for a living is not normal. It's not the norm. And I... I, I do not take it for granted. So I love you guys and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. <laughs>